Hi students, in this video we are going to learn question number 10 from exercise number 9.1. Our question is, two poles of equal height are standing opposite each other on either side of the road. So, we have a road. This is our road. Let us take. Now, either side we have a two poles. Both are equal in height. So, this side and this side we have a poles. Both are equal in height. Now we don't know what is the height of it. Let us take this is H means this also will be H only. So our question. The road which is 80 meter wide. The total road wide is 80 meters. Now from a point between them on the road. So in between the road. They didn't mention that it is in the midpoint. Somewhere in the road. One is standing. From a point on the road. The angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree. One of the pole is, the elevation is 60 degree. The another pole it is 30 degree. So since the angles are not equal, the point is not in the middle. If, they, if the point is in the middle, the angle of elevation will be the same. Here both elevations are different. So the point will be somewhere on the road. Now this is given. Find the height of the poles and the distance between the points from the poles we need to find out here we need to find the h and we need to find the let us take this is x let us take this is your uh, a b c d let us take this point as o now o is a point a b and c d are poles equal height poles and o is a point on the road o is a point on the road and AD is nothing but the road actually. So that's what given in the question. Now let us take this AO is a distance of X meter. So definitely OD will be 80 minus X we can say. Because the total is 80. From this 80 we have subtracted this X unit. The remaining will be 80 minus X we have to consider. Now we have two triangles in this. Here definitely this A is 90 degree. Here this D is 90 degree. We have two triangle. One triangle name is BAO or ABO also we can say. Now listen. So in the triangle ABO. In this triangle ABO we have this is our sorry this is 90 degree actually. This is 60. So this is 60 degree. For the 60 degree opposite side you want to find out. Adjacent side we don't know. They are talking about opposite and adjacent side. So we can write it tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. Here the opposite side is H. That is our AB by adjacent side is X. So write it X. Now tan in the place of theta we have 60 degree. So 60 degree is equal to H by X. Both we don't know. But tan 60 value from the table is root 3 root 3 which is equal to h by x we can write denominator x you take it to other side so that will be multiplication so root 3 x is equal to h we can write so this is the first equation we are getting so let's go to the second triangle from the diagram this is our second triangle triangle name is so in triangle o d c in this triangle o d c we have angle 30 degree here they are talking about opposite and adjacent again so we can write tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. We know that here tan 30 degrees equal to our opposite side is h and our adjacent side is 80 minus x that we have to write it. Tan 30 value 1 by root 3 which is equal to h by 80 minus x. Now do the cross multiplication. 80 minus x is equal to 80 minus x into 1 is 80 minus x is equal to root 3 into h we are getting now here we need to find h value and x value any one of the value we can substitute here in the place of h we can substitute the root 3 x also so substitute substitute h value now substitute h value so this 80 minus x will come as it is which is equal to root 3 into in the place of h we can take this root 3 x h is equal to root 3 x that is given in 1 so from 1, from 1 only we are taking this. Now this is 80 minus x is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3x. 
Now this minus six, if we take it into other side, that will become a plus six. Eight is equal to three x plus six. That is eight is equal to four x. Multiplication four is coming to this side, that will become a division. So eighty by four. So this is four two is a eight twenty times. So x is equal to twenty. We are getting. So after getting x value, we have to find out the h value also. Substitute this x value in. So let's substitute the x value in first equation. So substitute x value now. Now in the place of x, we can substitute this twenty. So we can write root three into twenty is equal to h. That is twenty root three is equal to h. We can say. H is nothing but height of the pole, so height of the pole is poles. Both are same height. Heights of the pole, we can say that H, H is equal to twenty root three. We got it because question is given in meter, so this also will be meter only. Now they have given one more question. What is the distance between the point from the poles? They are asking. So distances, so the distances we have taken as X and distances we have taken x and eighty minus x are distances now. Now in the place of x we got twenty. So the first pole is twenty meter away, and the second pole is eighty minus twenty. Eighty minus twenty will be giving you sixty meter. The two poles, one is at the distance of twenty meter, the another pole is a distance of sixty meter. So that is your correct answer. Thank you students thank you for watching if you like our video subscribe our channel for more videos